Hello everyone, welcome back to Joy's Creative Finger. I have built a very small uh, English countryside home. Anytime I go running, uh, riding my bike or long distance walking, I get to see some of the most beautiful neighborhoods and this is where my inspiration has come from for this build. Also, I've built a ton of large homes. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided I was gonna build something small and when I got started I felt that I should go along these lines to make something really cute and small I moved in a sim here called Tara she's I wouldn't say she's elderly but she's definitely you know advanced in years okay so this is her home she lives here by herself she has two children but they obviously don't live here because they're mature with their own families but they do come around every now and again it's a three bedroom house and I don't want to call it a cottage because I mean every house you see in the countryside is a cottage <laughs> but it's just an English countryside home all right she has a master bedroom balcony here it's very small and cute and looks like a Juliet balcony, you know, Romeo and Juliet, and a sizable backyard. Then I also, which was so exciting for me, placed a chimney in this position right above the fireplace that's inside the house. You know, I didn't want it to have to be on the side of the build. These are smoke machines. They came from the party event and I love that I can control them and I was able to glitch them in using the pregnancy glitch. And um, yeah, it made the chimney look like a working chimney. The more reason it looks like a cottage. <laughs> All right, so this is Tara. She owns the house outright. The only thing she pays for is electricity because she hasn't put solar panels on her house. So no mortgage left to pay. She takes care of her gardens herself. She's self-sufficient. She also takes care of herself. As I say, she's not a young lady at all, but she certainly looks after herself to her utmost best and also the property that she lives in okay there are some nooks and corners inside this area lovely porches filled with plants and creeping vines and so on and i use these beautiful gated doors from the gallery event so you walk in love the way it opens up you walk in and this is what you have for an entrance got the lovely chandelier couple of lights and then you've got those large windows on the side this way where you've got those pocketed you know porched areas and she can see her front Front garden it's very pretty then you have a chest of drawers on this side here and I love that mirror from the sim chase event above it more flowers they love their flowers let me tell you so her house is filled with flowers and you can you know get that scent in the air it's right next to the closet which is also a bathroom so there's a hat in there maybe she has a gentleman who visits every now and again why is there a hat in the bathroom but there's the window <laughs> for that bathroom and then you've got these arches the first arch leads into a very large very clean very white carpeted uh, living room and I've been in some homes I've visited a couple of people and they've got white carpets brilliant white carpets brilliant white chairs brilliant white everything you know it's not lived in that's the inspiration i had for this house she hardly ever stays in here but she keeps it clean she polishes everything her artwork up on the wall you know she has history in this house and it's probably been renovated over the years and was handed down to her so it's been in the family okay uh, and then she gets it and doesn't have to pay anything like i said she doesn't pay a mortgage so it's just well taken care of. You got the beautiful fireplace, the gallery fireplace. You got the TV from the Onyx Tower. And yes, she just keeps it very clean and doesn't even use it. Now, when you snake your way around through this archway here, this is the door that leads out to the garage or you come into the house from the garage. Of course, she rides a beautiful sports car with the top down <laughs> and she has all the tools to take care of minor jobs on the vehicle. Like I said, she's self-sufficient. She really is. Right opposite that door from the garage leads into the kitchen and it's close to the main entrance as well. There is a towel rack up on the wall and there's the phone in case she needs to wipe her hands and take a call quickly. Then you've got the center part here with the island and these stools are perfect for that island. And in wanting to have a cooker that matches the countertops I glitched in a outdoor barbecue set countertop 
into or onto the stove so that it had those wooden panels as well matching the countertop set in this kitchen this is a beautiful pancake mixer set it doesn't work if you click on it you can't really make any pancakes but i love it uh, and yeah that's what i decided to do in this kitchen and i love this flooring from the gallery event it's very traditional and suits this style of property and kitchen very lovely this flooring so that's where the dining room is situated underneath the arch but on the flip side here we have more countertops the fridge the microwave and some pots and pans and spices and so on okay well fresh spices <laughs> so the dining room is right here and I love this table set I didn't notice that at first I went for the gold straight away but when I was building and I placed this in here and I wanted that traditional touch I just fell in love with this dining set and these plants have these petals that have spilled onto the table so perhaps she needs to pick that up and tidy up or water the plants or something or change them but it's perfect on the table very lovely I just love that set and then you've got this beautiful art piece up on the wall and the drinks the champagnes the glasses and so on so that's the dining room with a door that leads out to a porched area first and then out to the back garden where you could sit down and have a barbecue. Interestingly, I did place a swimming pool back here, but then uh, I just changed my mind and gave it uh, a seating area instead. So just know that you can put a pool in this house if you want to, that space is available. This is obviously a small plot build. The floor plans will be up on our Facebook group called Joyce Creative Finger Group. The link is in the description down below, click on that and you should be able to get there and join and you'll be accepted by myself or one of the admins. But yes, this is what it looks like. I always give you a little overview so that you have an idea where things go. We're going upstairs and the glitch, there is a you know glitch in the game where when you get your Sims to go up a switchback staircase or the grand French staircases, your Sim freezes. It's been reported and it will be fixed, so don't worry about that. But yes, when you come up into this corridor here, there is a door, first door on her left or right, and then you walk out into a hooded area. Then you come out to this balcony space here. Originally, I didn't do that. It wasn't that way. That space was purely decorative, you know, just for the front features. But then I thought I'd place these arches and being an old building, you know, in the countryside, there are all these nooks and crannies and spaces, you know, um, makes it quite easy to get this house to be haunted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway you come back into this very white carpeted corridor and the first door right opposite that balcony space is her master bedroom okay and while still in this angle you get to see her closet space she has an area where she sits down has a cup of tea or arranges some flowers and you know I never thought to use these sim chase bathroom doors for a closet but they work nicely in the space it's quite elegant and clean she's got a cluster of gray artwork up on the wall on this side of her bed and this bed is from the bedroom bedlam sim chase event the last one it's beautiful and the wallpaper is patterned which is a very signature thing for the English interior design. Then of course I have this round mirror that works beautifully on that wall, well scented. <laughs> and then she has a passageway to her bathroom and the door that leads out to her personally owned uh, Juliet balcony. I really love this balcony, it's very cute, very small, got the creeping vines on it. And she has a great lookout from that area, you know, around the property to the back part of it anyway. She then has a very large bathroom right opposite that balcony door and she has everything she needs to get cleaned up in this space. She has some baskets on the side for her laundry uh, and an area to sit down and cream herself and her feet and so on and a lovely shaggy rug in the middle. Okay, That completes the tour for the master bedroom. It's very large and has a balcony of its own, you know, in such a small house. <laughs> anyway, once you come out of her door right opposite the door that leads out to the balcony, further down the corridor and you get the door that leads into her daughter's bedroom. Her name's Diane. She hasn't been home in months, but her mum keeps the space very clean, very tidy, would still come in, hoover, clean up, dust, change the beddings. <laughs> her closet space is small and elegant, very clean, and her mum would still laundry. I'm not sure what for, but somehow she manages to find something that she needs to wash up. It's also the closet space for the other room. You'll see that in a minute. But this room also has, with the inbuilt closet, 
a chest of drawers for more clothes and personal belongings and so on so it's a self-sufficient room everything is in there uh, and it's sizable the last bedroom in the house belongs to her oldest son his name is Jonathan and he gets that double bed which is the same as the triple that she has in her room. It's the king size one, isn't it? You can see that that's the closet space, sharing the same space as the one in Diane's room. And I thought that these side tables work brilliantly alongside this bed. Um, the wallpaper is patterned too, all patterned wallpaper in the bedrooms and a weathered chest of drawers. This is a pine storage box outside his bedroom, right down the end of the hall. Uh, we'll just rummage through some junk, which is something I think in my mind she would do all the time. Keep trying to organize and reorganize around children who are no longer children. But you know, she wants to have some meaning around them somehow. I don't know why that's the case, but that's how it is perceived that they feel when their, you know, nest is empty. <laughs> this door leads out to a shaded area. It's hooded. And then you can walk out to the balcony area just here and look out to this side of the property in the front. I really like these little nooks, just like the one on the other end here. Uh, and it just gives the house more depth and character. Further down the hall, if we come backwards, is a door that leads into the family bathroom. It's a very large bathroom. And originally it was a bedroom. And then of course I had to figure it out and I chose to make it the bathroom in the end. So it's quite big. And so I filled it in with the laundry space in the corner here and I was really happy that I chose this space. So there is a laundry space for this uh, house and then there's a section here to keep things. Beautiful window. The bathtub is not attached to the wall. It's standing free. And then you've got the sink and the toilet unit tucked away in this nook over here. Love the flooring matching the grey units. And yeah, that's the space that will basically be used by um, Diane and Jonathan's bedroom. Okay, and of course, the laundry space is used by everyone. <laughs> that completes the tour for the house. What I'm going to do is obviously keep going over it as an overview. You see where the doors are placed. You see where some of the furniture items are placed. You might even have an idea of how to move things around and, and change it around for yourself. For those of you who want to replicate it and then of course as i did say before if you look in the description of this video down below there is a link to our facebook group joy's creative finger there will be floor plans for this build up there for you to replicate the house and redesign it as you want as usual i always say that if you choose to replicate it and put it in your town that's great but if you put it on any social media platform be it facebook youtube instagram and so on wonderful but don't forget to use the hashtag Joyce Creative Finger when doing that. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have fun putting a sim that you feel belongs in this house into this house in your own town. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Do remember to stay safe. Bye.